guys. Today, I will be making orange boiled mackerel flambe. And this will be a special recipe that you will all enjoy. It will be delicious, scrumptastical, <laughs> and I will love it too. Stay tuned. First, we have to boil these oranges. So we will start with filling up this kettle with water. Lots and lots of water. And now we wait. And now we will be boiling these oranges in the hot water. Now you may be thinking, take off the peel. Well, no, because this peel contains vitamins A through T. It, they are very nutritional. They are very good. So we shall keep the peel. What you want to do is you want to find the more firmer oranges that you did not drop while juggling and place them into the bowl. And now, we add the water. And now, we add the boiling water to this concoction into the bowl. Now, what you want to do is you want to let it sit for about four to five minutes just to let it boil. Because you want the, the juices of the water to become one with the orange. One with the orange. I have to say these oranges are just about ready. So the next step is peeling these, it's peeling the oranges. Give me a second. There we go. It's peeling the oranges which have just been boiled. We'll use that one for the next recipe. So basically, it should be a lot easier to peel because you boiled it. Boy, this should be fun. Now first off, we place the oranges into the bowl. Now, we are going to need first a little bit of this folders. Usually it comes with these little measuring cups. So I want you to put four heaping helpings of Folgers coffee because this dessert really wants you to stay awake for some reason. And um, now what we are going to be doing is taking one of these green tea packets and place it in for when we add other ingredients so we can soak in the flavor of tea. Decaffeinated though because we have enough caffeine in there to last you a while. Now, we will open this fruit bowl thing and as you can see the juices and liquids mix very well with the coffee and the tea. Now remember, as you're going along to clean up after yourself, because you don't want to start a mess. And now, I gotta find a can opener. Give me a second. So, we, we open this can of peas. Now this is a pretty big can of peas, so remember, I don't want you to use as big as this. And if we want, start off with the juices, just so you can know about how much juices should work. Fill it up about to there. Then the rest should be the peas itself. Now basically this is just, you, bas you just want to top off the rest of it with peas. The rest of the peas will be used in the topping in a very, very creative way. And now, to bake. Now what we do is we place this, make sure it's on the middle-ish rack of your oven. And what we're going to do is set it to 350. Set it to 350. There we go. And leave it for an hour and 10 minutes. And we'll come back to this and see. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's ready! Hot, 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 hot. Make sure you don't leave it in seconds more than you're supposed to. It could be very dangerous. Very dangerous. And now we have to remove the excess water from this delight. Now, what I want you to do is um, sift it for enough time to sing this little ditty I made up. Oh, we're sifting food. Oh, we're sifting. That's gross. La 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 la. La 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 do do. La 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 la. No more than that. No less than that. Okay. Um, if you want the song, it is available on www.siftmysifter.com. And now we place this delicious dessert into the plate as so. Try and keep it in as much of a circular form as you can. We'll work on that a little bit later. Right now it's time to make the topping with our oranges, peas, straws, and cream of mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom soup. Very important ingredient in your healthy diet. And now we use the cream of mushroom soup. Now be careful opening this can because you can cut yourself on these sharp razor edges here and here. I'm just saying. Now, we see as we watch, it's always good to have a spoon just in case. I think this is gonna work. Think. Alright, once you hear that slop, you know it's coming out. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice cream of mushroom soup right there. You see that? Now, you gotta make sure that it's fresh. If it, if it jiggles like so and doesn't fall apart, you know that you are using good cream of mushroom soup. You see that? If you can, if you can just throw it around a bit. Yeah. See, he, he, yeah, there we go. Now, we are going to use the orange peels that we saved. Now, I want to, you to rip it into tiny shreds. Not too tiny, but tiny enough. And place them into the bowl with the cream of mushroom soup. And now for a time lapse to once I'm done with these orange peels. And there we have it, four oranges worth of orange peels in this bowl filled with mushroom soup. Now you can see how the healthy jiggle of this mushroom soup. Now what happens is at this point you do not want to touch it with any plastic or metal utensils. You do in fact want to mix it with this straw. Now this is a specially made straw made out of plasticatory aluminum which is a fine material for mixing mushroom soup with orange peels because if you touch it it can in fact ruin the whole chemical reaction when when you cook it which makes it look very different after cooking it, the chemical reaction so um, make sure you mix it with this straw now once you have it mixed enough you have to place it into the microwave for one minute but remember to back away due to the waves of the chemical reaction. Ah, it's ready. Now, as you, as you can see, the, this, the topping has changed color, consistency, and texture due to this chemical reaction that was obtained without using our hands or any other plastic, but by using the straw made of that material that I mentioned earlier. Now, to place it on top of our delightful dessert. Now, it's always best to use the top because this is where the chemical reaction has, in fact, happened. So, once, all you want to do is basically not completely cover, but a general area on top. The rest will, can be saved for another day as food on its own. Right, a little bit of thyme and rosemary. 
So first we try the... Wait, wait, give me a second. Just in the middle, just to change colors around a bit. The rosemary, same thing, just... Actually this one, just coat around the food, just around, see that? And now, last but definitely not least, we will be using these amazing bay leaves to make it seem a lot fancier than it is. All you do is you take the leaf, place one at the top there, take another one, and um, place it all over. No specific spot required. Just, you know, let it stick out. Look beautiful. And there you have the basic orange mackerel flambe. Actually, we'll get to the flambe. And now dig in and enjoy this mac mackerel flambe. This orange mackerel flambe. Mm mm. Them's be good eatings. Wow, something in my throat. <coughs> so, well, if, you, if you want more recipes by us, um, Green, mellow blue production. <laughs> <laughs>